at most uh, two days off, and even that's a little bit much. Uh -huh. Then with Harpering. Well, actually, a couple years ago in the playoffs, they did put the Orlando Magic put Matt Harpering on Allen Iverson, and of course he struggled mightily. Into his bag of tricks early on, the baseline glide with the reverse off last. Allen Iverson going to work with his shake and bake uh, move offensively. Actually, the footwork there, Matt Harpering was shading Iverson to the middle, and you don't want to do that because that gives Iverson so many more options. 84 and a half points per night. Iverson baseline got cut off there. This is George Lynx, and he has tripled out of that deep right corner. Ozzy Muhammad staying on the floor. Iverson has turned the corner on Harpering, put it down, and one coming from the line. And that'll be Matt Harpering on the personal foul. The quickness of Iverson showed up there. And, and just a smart play by, by Larry Brown and Allen Iverson coming out of the timeout. The whole Sixers organization very upset when Iverson was stripped of the ball on the previous possession. It does, and we talked about uh, the two per sensing him wanting to take over right now. He goes to the foul line, not hiding when he was going to hit the deck, whereas Allen takes these hard hits. And uh... well, the Cavaliers trying to keep Allen Iverson from igniting this Philadelphia. Andre Miller lowered his shoulder and went back rim. Iverson going to run to the hole. Well, the Cavaliers just did not get back. Getting stops, Maddie, and then using the runouts to their liking. And that's why they have this 10-2 run. And you don't get any higher percentage. Forget about the offense for Matt Harper for a second. How about the defensive job he's doing on Allen Iverson? That time giving him all kinds of room to take that outside shot as Allen was three for ten before he gathered it. Forced it up on the glass. Iverson has leaked out. Iverson's got the quick solo run to the rim. Going to get caught going towards the offensive. Uh, and it would only take a couple of steps because once uh, Allen Iverson gets in with their 11-0 run intact, Iverson will put his head down, go to the hole, float it home, and one coming from the line. Matt Harpering on the personal foul as now the whistle is starting to mount against the Cavaliers. And Iverson and Snow look active. And the Cavs getting away from their basic strategy of trying to keep Allen Iverson to the baseline. Even though he's a right-hander, what Matt Harpring should be trying to do is get way up on the left hand of Iverson and force him back towards the baseline where the help. Bernice Ogowskis, uh, Mim played seven. Moon from over the top. Clarence Witherspoon got denied by Ratliff. Spoon is going to try it again and got denied by Ratliff. Wow. Well, and the crowd responds, and rightly so. Phil Ratliff doing what he does best. Second best shot blocker in the league is Sean Bradley. And Clarence Weatherspoon just does not have the height or the hops to get and power through Theo Ratliff. And the Cavaliers turn it over. Iverson will dart to the hole, and George Lynch has got a throwdown. And the Philadelphia 76ers have exploded behind Allen Iverson. 18-0 run against the Cavaliers to go from five down to 13 up in the last five minutes. Well, it really didn't happen for the first 18 minutes of this game, but the 76ers got their defense going in the closing minutes of the second quarter, and they picked it up, so maybe those three days off kind of had their defensive uh, game in the stable somewhere, but it is out in full force right now. Hey. For a whole year. <laughs> That's what Gauskas. Can't connect on the short jumper. Well, Iverson turned the corner, got all the way to the rim, and Harpering just got cleared out. Harpering really at a disadvantage here, and probably standing a little bit too straight up initially, but when you have a quick player like Iverson coming at you, and you're Matt Harpering's size, about 6 0. You know, Iverson thought about the three with Harpering running at him. Ratliff on the offensive glass. Ratliff trying to muscle up, and he'll throw it in the hole. Cavaliers have withstood that big run and managed to stay in it. Iverson breaking down Cedric Henderson. The floater wouldn't fall, but McCullough got a putback. Sixers by 10. Allen Iverson got off in the third quarter with nine of his 18. They're coming right back to the first union center. Allen Iverson will give Tony Kukoc a triple. That's right there. But now, 10 on the shot clock as Iverson's going to lift it and lace it. 20 for Allen Iverson. Must be little things that are going to determine the outcome of the game. The heartbreak tried to keep it alive as Trailer split the pair. Iverson like a blur. Gave it up to Tyrone Hill. His line drive jumper goes. Look. Ratliff ripped it away from Z. Iverson will wrap around to Snow who coached it in the cup. 
And one more coming for the line, and Randy Whitman is livid. To get that second technical foul. Whoops, that's something. One of those uh, frequent turnovers again, and let's look if Trajan Langdon has position. Yeah, it looked like he stepped there, maybe moving slightly, but Philly. Ratliff to Ooh. duck his head. Oh, Andre Muller oh. took a shot. That's yeah, all going now the Sixers way. Ratliff just threw it off his hip, fell in the hole, and he's got one more coming on a Cavalier personal foul. Andre Miller and Theo Ratliff, boy, they, they could have cracked heads, and it could have been a mess. But then when it is all going on, it is all going on. Lamont Murray put up last night. Wanting to come back to his uh, former team, the 76ers, and uh, make a uh, statement, and he has. Allen Iverson trying to use a pick from Theo Ratliff. Iverson fading away and knocking it down. Cavaliers, their second loss of the season. Fall by nine, 107-98. Theo Ratliff, a shot-blocking demon here tonight. Sixers were down by five with uh, a little bit less than 11 minutes left in the third quarter. That 18-0 run on, the run out they went on, Matty, uh, pretty much put this one away tonight. So the Sixers 8-0 for the second time in franchise history.